Big Ten play against Illinois, but this out of it, and they were at the point where you okay, like you've got to take this game over, and they failed to do it, but they still came back and did it later. Um, so that that says something for the mentality of this team, and I think it speaks well for them overall. But I get why it doesn't show up in the polls when you're not really beating these teams well, uh, and and people look at the stat sheet and say, I, 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 you know, I, I, this seems like too much of a two-man team. Yeah, and and I think a part of it is even though they're second in the country in two-point field goal shooting, that is phenomenal. <laughs> but I, even yeah. with that, you're like, yeah, but you're you got this, yeah, but they they're not they're shooting sixty-two percent from the free throw line, but they're shooting. And I know we've we've talked ad nauseum about them not being a great three point shooting team, but yet they they have, although of late they've been okay. But when they're putting up twenty four shots in a game and shooting twenty percent, it's aggravating because you're like, don't shoot the ball twenty five times a game if you're not a good three point shooting team. But uh, it's just so scary because they are so good and lethal uh, f- from from close in, and that's where why their shooting percentage is so high because you've got guys that are just killing it around the rim. Jawan Morgan doing his phenomenal job. Obviously, Romeo lives around the rim, uh, and they're doing such a great job there. But it's and I've asked Todd Leary about this. Uh, like, is that is that the difference between them winning and losing though? If they if they run across a team that can kind of handle them in the post, is that going to be the difference between winning and losing? Yeah, no, I mean, it, it could, obviously. It's a question of, can and can you keep him out of the paint? You know, and, 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 and not a lot of teams have been able to do that so far. Obviously, you know, uh, Duke was, you know, when, when basically, like, like as you mentioned, you know, when, when you've got to go up against Zion, uh, you know, in, in the paint basically it becomes a lot more difficult. Romeo had a just brutal time, and Juwan Morgan obviously got in foul trouble and basically was, was a non-factor. That's the last time you could say that about him. Um, so when they're going to put, go against a team at that level that has that kind of athleticism uh, in the paint, it's going to be difficult for them. But, you know, there, there's not a lot of teams that can't. I mean, Romeo and Juwan are special uh, when it comes to that. I mean, they, they, you know, they are, like, there's there's not going to be a lot of teams that are going to, st- they're going to be able to stop them at the rim. Uh, Romeo's ability to create and just find, you know, the body control uh, to be able to, to get in there against, you know, bodies against contact and find a way to put up a shot that goes in is, is crazy just for him his, his ability to do that is, is wild and Morgan's just got terrific post moves I and mean, it's just really solid when you know with his back out the basket also knows when to you know take somebody further out um so there's not going to be a lot of teams uh that are gonna be able to stop them at the rim but there are some obviously you know Duke you know Duke obviously is a special case because I mean they've got just freaks you know let's be real about this those those guys you know barrett and you know williams and yeah i, I question whether they're, they're from this planet 